hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series so today i'm going to show you how to uh, create burning marks on the characters when i shoot them with fire arrows like this so i shot that guy with a fire arrow and uh, this is another one so let's go closer and see how that burning man looks on his body so it's like this so these are the burning marks that i have added on the places that i hit them right so likewise if i hit them with a normal arrow they will have normal blood spat splatters uh, instead of burn marks and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me that means a lot to me okay so let's open our human character so that we can see where do we we have a implement what should happen when the character is hit by an arrow mm. <clears throat> the method is on arrow hit yeah it's i have implemented it here just in case you wonder how did i implement this one this is implemented through uh, this BPI damageable blueprint interface so if you are not familiar with this you can refer to previous tutorials where we implemented on arrow hit event first right now with that said let's get started right so here I with this damage inside this damage uh, macro I I think I spawn some blood decal where is that yeah it's here I spawn damage decal I have called it in the on arrow hit um, event at the end and here i am spawning this mdcal inst this material actually this one represents a blood splatter not really a good one but this is the one i have at the moment so here is i can make this one uh, insert as a variable like this so for the default value can I set the default value no it seems like let's see okay but I can't set a default value here but yeah so then again I have to correct the places that I am using this function so what's the mdcal inst right here and here here instead of mdcal inst I need to give the type of the material depending on the type of the arrow so I think I have a method to get magic type yeah this one I can get the magic type of the arrow like this and I can 
user select node based on this type magic type mm. so I'll connect this decal material like this right now I can select the decal type so here I'll select m decal inst this is the blood so when the magic type is known that means it's a normal material so I need this material I need this material to spawn a blood splatter so when the magic type is fire uh, m fire what's the decal material I don't remember let's see I have yeah it's here the decal m burning right m burning so this wait a minute this is my burning material so just in case you have missed this episode on how to create this material you can refer to that episode it's it's uh, this one episode 191 right so okay so here I should select M burning and for the poison I actually I haven't implemented poison arrow poison arrows yet so let's I'll for now I'll make M burning for that one as well I will replace this one with another decal type later and compile right now we need to test so let's check okay oh right he's dead now and let me go closer and check if he has the burning decals right so these are the burning marks of his body and it at some places it looks deformed and I don't know how to fix that problem at the moment so this is how it looks on the body of the character and yeah that's all I want to do for today and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club patreon.com slash code like me link would be in the description below and depending on the tier you join you will have different privileges and I'll upload the latest source code into the patreon page soon and see you thank you for watching and see you in the next episode goodbye